This is my Android device and today I explored so many ChatGPT apps to find the best ones for this video. So let's get into it. The number first is the official basic ChatGPT app. The app does the job by answering questions. It uses GPT 3.5 which is available for free. However, its interesting feature is that it supports voice communication. We just choose the assistant voice and ask it questions. The app generates text but it also speaks the answer. A tiny problem with this is that it's not like Google Voice where we get one or two line answers. This assistant reads the whole generated text which can take time. We can access our history and subscribe to GPT-4 which honestly costs more than other chat GPT apps out there. The next is the newly released Microsoft Copilot. We can use it without an account but uh, we won't get much of a limit. Also the best part is that we can use GPT-4. Just turn it on and start chatting. It is faster than chat GPT but uh, is it better? Well I can't justify that. It even creates images for some question types. What is cool about Copilot is that we can generate images. The app uses DALI 3 and it creates amazing realistic images. You can design logos, generate houses and do many other things. It supports many visual image types and the image resize feature to create landscape photos. The only problem I found is that when you press the back button in a chat, the app quits. It does not go back to the home interface. The next app we have is Poe. Created by the Quora team, Poe can be your ultimate chat app. Let me tell you why. This is its interface. It's crazy right? Poe supports all the chat APIs. This includes GPT 3.5 and 4, DALI, Cloud and even the new Gemini Pro. Some of those are free to access but uh, some require a subscription which costs less than the official chat GPT subscription. I asked Gemini Pro a question to see how fast it responds. This was even faster than GPT-4. You can even search the web and get Bing chat-like answers if you want references. Another wonderful benefit of using it is its built-in bot styles. We can create 4K images and logos and ask about TV shows. I asked the romantic bot for tips about my first date and well, I'm halfway there. I just need to find a girl now. The last app is the good old Bing AI. Now Bing is everything combined. It's not just a chat program. It is here to replace your chat, weather, news and search. It has Copilot built in but the reason I'm mentioning it separately is that it shows you websites of the results. This way you can read more about something online or copy the links for references. We also get rewards and redeem points for Amazon and Microsoft gift cards. Bing also understands the images you take. It's like the Google Lens app to identify objects and help you discover them online. It's not perfect but uh, it does a good job. Anyway, this is all for the best chat GPT apps. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Take care.